We gather here as representatives of each ship in our fleet to answer that single question, where will we go? Our recorded history tells us that we descended from a mother civilization, a race that went out into space to establish colonies. Those of us here assembled now represent the only known surviving colonies, save one, a sister world far out in the universe, remembered to us only through ancient writings. It is my intention to seek out that remaining colony, that last outpost of humanity in the whole universe. Commander Dharma, this 13th colony, this other world, where is it and what is it called? I wish I could tell you that I know precisely where it is, but I can't. However, I do know that it lies beyond our star system, in a galaxy very much like our own, on a planet called Earth. What's up, Migo fans? What's up, Battlestar Galactica fans? Welcome back to the MIB Master Museum. I'll be your curator today. And guys, continuing with our Battlestar Galactica exhibit, we bring to you from the good people from Biff Bang Pow at EMCE Toys, our very own Commander Adama. Let's bring this guy in. Just a aesthetically beautiful, beautiful figure. Phenomenal head sculpt. Commander Adama was the light, the beacon, the leadership of the Battlestar Galactica and all of the ragtag ships that followed it. He was the commander, the father of Apollo, and pretty much the unquestioned leader although he did have to answer to the council of 12 <laughs> this is a beautiful figure a beautiful outfit this is on a um, a 8 inch uh, type 2 Mego style body Just beautifully done. And this guy comes very... Uh, Commander Adama really comes layered up. I mean, he has this beautiful material of a uniform. I don't know what type of material this is. But it's, it's simply gorgeous. Beautifully done. And when I saw... Um, this Commander Adama, we, we purchased this this particular uh, figure from from uh, Entertainment Earth, and I, I immediately I, I had to have this guy for our collection. It's difficult because I didn't, you know, you just can't. I have to complete my my collection, so to leave. Commander Adama, which was basically one of the really the, the, the top faces and actors of the show, to not get him in an eight inch figure, I just I, that was blasphemy. <laughs> There's no way I could I, I could have done that. Guys, if you're just tuning in, 
please like and subscribe. This is what we do. We hang out and we're just hanging out in our our museum. We do reviews. We take requests. We cover hot topics, fun topics, and we cut. We just really talk about a really cool hobby that we have and collecting action figures and today's awesome offering is Battlestar Galactica's Commander Adama and the actor that played Commander Adama was a famed and legendary actor Lauren Green and Lauren Green is best known from Bonanza he played in a few other um, TV shows, but Bonanza was the big one. And he simply owned this role of Commander Adama. I couldn't see them having anybody else play this role uh, when they were casting for the, the role of uh, Commander Adama. He was just a spiritual leader powerful and just just a just a a profound and beautiful performance by Lauren Green for this role and as a kid growing up in the 1970s and watching Battlestar Galactica you know I, I always marveled at how Commander Adama was able to even in the toughest situations with the Cylons bearing down on him, uh, finding their position and location, and zeroing in to destroy the Battlestar Galactica. Commander Adama was able to hold everybody together and make everybody believe that you know everything was going to be okay. And even as a kid, I believed it too. <laughs> so, Lauren Green and playing as Commander Adama had that effect on everybody. Guys, what do you think of uh, the Battlestar Galactica Commander Adama? Do you have this guy? Are you looking for this guy? Well, guys, I'm here to tell you, you, you absolutely, positively won't be frustrated or, or, or discontent <laughs> if you bought this guy. Definitely will not be disappointed. This is a beautiful, beautiful rendition of Commander Adama. And this is an 8-inch figure, guys. And the outfit, the uniform, everything is right to the TV show scale. All the way down to this beautiful jewel that's right in the center of Adama's uh, uniform. The head sculpt. I can't say enough about this head sculpt. I've had collectors, some collectors say, well, you know, that's not a, a great rendition of Lauren Green. And once again, my, my response to that is, you're talking about an 8-inch action figure, Mego style. And these figures are becoming more and more articulate. Uh, the head sculpts are becoming more and more precise and articulate. It's just beautiful. So I think they did a beautiful, beautiful job on this Commander Adama. As you can see, we have Starbuck and Apollo over there in the, in the background there. Guys, we have a fun week for you. We have more uh, Battlestar goodness coming your way. More of our um, huge Battlestar Galactica exhibit. So we have more characters coming for you. For our Battlestar Galactica exhibit. We have more G.I. Joes. We, we have more surprises. We have big productions on the way. Guys, we, we're just kicking off this holiday season. The right way. Hanging out with you guys having fun and talking about action figures it just does not get any better than that 
And I just can't say enough about this Commander Adama fi action figure. Beautifully done. The good people at Biff Bang Pow are really cranking these guys out and doing a great job in the process. Um, just a beautiful, beautiful likeness of Lauren Green. Guys, I apologize for the glare. This is how clean uh, this um, bubble is. Very clear. And Entertainment Earth, uh, where we purchased this figure from, uh, once again, they really don't play around. They do a phenomenal job at packing these guys. And everything's first class with, this, with Entertainment Earth. Um, from you know my dealings with these guys and you know we purchase a lot of uh, figures from entertainment earth and they're always this is a a c10 museum quality example here that we have of commander uh, adama beautifully done and i i would definitely if you, you're looking for this guy i would say start with entertainment earth first and then you can work your way back through Amazon, eBay, um, places like that. And this particular figure, once again, didn't cost an arm and a leg. Look what you're getting, and I think I might have, like I I bought the, this uh, figure with two or three other figures as a package type deal. So, but separately, he was about 20 something dollars by himself. And that's not bad. Not in this day and age of where action figures are being priced at. And to have a, a figure this beautiful, you're almost going to say this is, this is definitely a deluxe type figure here in every sense of the word. Just beautifully done. It's like the, the suit is made out of some type of um, velour, something like that. Some type of velour, synthetic velour. Some very soft and shiny type material. But like I said, and he's, he's definitely layered up. Let's let's turn this guy to the side here and get you a, a shot there. As you can see, just a beautiful turn him all the way around for you. As you can see, we have the uh, in, the entire Battlestar Galactica cast, all the figures here. All of the Cylons. There's Apollo and Starbuck. Guys, with that being said, you know the drill. We want you to stay tuned. And to do that, guys, we want you to go to the refrigerator, get your favorite beverage, hop on the couch, kick back, and tune in to the MIB Master Museum Channel. God bless. and keep collecting.